Now, the cross, uh, uh, the cross feeder and the uh, cross sector. We mentioned that the antenna of uh, sector one has to be connected to the RF module or RU, which is specified to sector one. And the configuration is taken by that manner. So the antenna of sector one cannot go to the RF module of sector two. A conflict and something called a cross will happen in this case. When does the cross happen? Now, first, let's talk about the normal connection, which is that the antenna of sector one, as you guys can see here, is connected to the RF module of sector one and antenna of sector two is connected to the RF module of sector two, whether by jumper or fever or jumper only. The most important thing is that the two ports or two connectors or two jumpers, all right, they both go completely to the RF module of sector uh, of sector one uh, or sports uh, go to the module of sector one. All right, so this is the normal connection. Now here, we did a cross. So you will find the system working as power, but you will not find any coverage due to the cross that happened. And the full cross sector in which two full ports, ports of a sector were connected to another full two ports of another sector is called a, uh, uh, this, sorry. So again, The full cross is called cross sector in which two full ports of a sector were connected to a, another two full ports of another sector, all right? And cross feeder is when the antenna of sector one has one of the ports and was connected to the RF module of sector two. And another port was okay, connected uh, to its original port in the RF module. So only one port was crossed and same goes for the antenna in sector two. All right, so again, the cross, as you guys can see, it go one port goes to the RF module of, or the two ports here. So the two ports go to the RF module of sector two, sector two, uh, the two ports uh, go to the RF module of sector one and the cross one is intact or going to its original place and the other is going to the RF module of uh, sector two, all right? Now, this has to be adjusted correctly. As let's say, um, for example, there, this is the technician that goes up, all right, and the tower on the tower, and uh, should take, let's say, for example, uh, this cable over here, this cable over here, and close it uh, on both ways. Uh, so it has closed this area, all right, and the cable itself. And down here is the uh, engineer holding like something like a, uh, what we call the buzzer. Um, and this is just in case, if, if of a BDS system, of course. Um, so again, the engineer holds the buzzer, part, uh, buzzer and then starts removing the parts of the RF module and starts seeing the part that the technician closed of sector one, for example. Then the technician <coughs> uses the buzzer. So, uh, sorry, the, when the engineer starts using, the, start using the buzzer, so the part gives a sound. So we can know that it belongs to sector one. This is the way that <clears throat> they figure with uh, they figure uh, out where the connections go. But if it's in the DBS system, when the antenna and RU are above, so the technician knows easily how they're connected as they, he can already see them. So he doesn't need to do any tests, for example, all right? So if it's above, 
All right, as you guys can see, the technician can already see the wirings through the antenna. All right. And that's the story of the cross sector and the cross feeder. All right. Now, jumping on to another problem 